What is going on everybody? My name is Blake from the Linux Fraud and today we're going to be checking out NeoVim. I'm sure if you're familiar with Linux then you are familiar with NeoVim, Vim, uh, Chad Vim, or whatever that's called. I personally use NeoVim and I just wanted to show you how, uh, how I set it up. I've got a few plugins that I put in there that I think really really make NeoVim a little bit better. And then also um, of course the Nord theme. And yeah, so pretty excited for this. Let's just jump right into it. So for today, we are rocking good old Fedora 38. I've got Qtile running. Actually, what I can do is I'll show you what it looks like. Since Alacrity, I already have the Nord theme for Alacrity. It will have kind of like a, a Nord theme for the text colors and everything. Well, this is what, um, once I have it all set up, this is what it looks like. I just, I like this coloring a little bit better, more than like the yellow and the, the purple kind of all flows and the plugin that I use because we're going to be using Vim plugin and I'll show you how to set that up um, it it makes the uh, it makes the text italicized which I kind of like because even if I go into say like my Qtile config you can see right here it, it, um, it italicizes some of the text and I just I think it looks pretty it looks pretty good to me the first thing that we have to do is install Vim plugins or Vim plugs. So we're going to jump over here to good old Firefox. If it loads, Lord. So we're just going to search Vim plugin GitHub. All right, so the repo that we want is going to be this one right here. Now, if we scroll down, you can see. There's an installation section, and you can either do it, you can use this for Vim, for NeoVim, so just Vim or NeoVim. And you've got either Unix or you got Windows, and then you've got Unix Linux right down here. You can also get, you can get it as a flat pack if you wanted to. I've never set it up that way, but you can if you want. This is the one that you're going to want, or at least if you're going to do it the way I'm doing it, this is the way that you want. So you're going to copy that, let's go back to our terminal, clear all of this. So we're going to copy and paste that right into the terminal, hit enter. So we'll clear that, now we need to go into config, and we're going to into dot config, and now we're going to make a directory called nvim, cd into nvim, and now I am going to touch init.vim. So you need to create this file right here. Now, of course, you can use NeoVim to open this, so nvim, initvim. In this file, this is where this is where all of your plugins are going to go. And so you need this directory and this file set up. Uh, I've seen it done other ways, but this is just the way that I learned how to do it, and so this is going to be the way that I show you how to do it. So this is the file that you are going to import all of your, um, all of the plugins that you want. And you can add, um, you know, an array of different plugins. And I've got a few of them, a handful, probably about five of them that I have in my NeoVim config. And I will link all of those in the bottom uh, if, you, if you want access to them. <clears throat> so if you just copy me here, we're going to do a call plug begin. Now this is uh, this is important here. Parentheses home local share and vim plugged. Oh, and of course I need to put quotation marks. All right, just like that. So you want that at the top, and then also at the bottom you're going to want call plug end parentheses. Okay. Now I also like to uh, I like to go down here. If you if you put this in your config set number, that will actually give you like that will number out the lines for you in NeoVim. I'm gonna import the uh, the plugins really quick, and then you guys can just copy and paste uh, if if you want any of these. And I'll put a little description up at, above them so you know what each plugin does, and I'll kind of give give a little description as well.
All right, so we're back. These are the six plugins that I personally use in NeoVim. So as you can see, the first one, table mode, that enables you to make tables uh, similar. If you know, if you've ever used uh, Emacs or like Doom Emacs, uh, you can create tables very easily in there, and that basically gives you that same option to make to make tables, which is very handy, especially if you're like taking notes or uh, doing anything like that. It's it's very handy to be able to create a table very quickly. Uh, the second one is just the Nord Neo Vim theme. You will see what that looks like here in a second, unless I already showed you previously. So the third one is better syntax support, as you can see here. It's just better syntax support for multiple languages. The next one is Nerd Tree, which is a very popular file explorer uh, for Neo Vim. The next one, auto pairs. Now, if you see right here, we'll go down here at the bottom, make a new line. If I if I type a parenthesis out, it only does one parenthesis. If you're inserting parentheses or brackets or something like that, 99.9, .9, no, I'm going to say 100% of the time, you need two of them, right? You need a beginning and an ending parenthesis or bracket or what have you. This plugin will automatically create a pair, okay, which is, which is very helpful. It might seem small, but in the grand scheme of things, it is actually very helpful. And the last one is line wrapping. Um, NeoVim by default will just, if you just keep typing, that line will go on forever. And personally for me, that's kind of annoying. I only have a laptop and so the screen is not like a huge screen. And so I run into that problem frequently. And so I looked up a line wrapping plugin. That's very helpful. All right, and then as you can see at the bottom, like I said, that set number right there, makes it to where each of your lines are are numbered and then if you decide to use this NeoVim theme um, Arctic Studios also has a pretty nice NeoVim theme this one just gives me that italicized look which I really like that's why I use that one I used to use the Arctic uh, Studios one which is which is the company that created uh, the Nord theme so regardless if you were to use that one or this one you would still want to put color scheme Nord so what we're going to do now is just write this file. We're going to write quit. And then what you need to do is just type nvim. All right, so do that. Now you can see there's a couple of errors, and that's OK. Just press Enter to continue. Now you're going to want to do a semicolon, PL, and then you can tab. Right here, you're going to want to go down to plug install. Hit Enter on plug install. That's going to bring all of this up. Now it's just going to install all of those repos. Now it's finished. You can hit Q, Control Z to exit, and now if I nvim into init vim, hmm, hold on, that error, I've never seen that error before, so let me right quit out of here, nvim. What does that say? Error detected while processing config and vim in it. Vim trailing characters table mode. Hmm. What is going on there? I've never had that problem. Now it seems to me that it's still working. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is it. There's a space in between here. You're not supposed to have a space. Let's see. Right, quit. Now if we just do nvim in it. No, it's still doing that. Hmm. I wonder if... Table mode is trying... I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> duh, my dumbass right here. I had a um, a pound sign, and so I basically commented it out, and in this you need quotation mark. I bet now, perfect. All right, that was just me. I had a um, a pound symbol here in front instead of um, instead of a quotation mark. So that's pretty much it. 
Um, there you go. You have a little bit of um, uh, troubleshooting there because I had never seen that before. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. That's how I have my NeoVim set up. It's just a handful of plugins that really that definitely help out. They're they're not needed per se, but they definitely they just make the experience a little bit better. All right, everybody. Well, that was the video. If you liked it, maybe consider uh, hitting that thumbs up button. And if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button because we have a bunch more content coming your way.